<laughs> Just hurry up now, because it's no time already. I don't call. <gasps> Oh, you said I'll call you, but... Come on. Nora, this is the fifth time he's calling you this morning. Pick the call and hear him out. I can't talk to him right now. Look, the service is almost on us. Besides, I'm assisting you with your dress. Get up, let me help you out. Come okay. on. We are late, so... Let's go, we're Don't late. worry, we're almost done. I can handle the rest myself. Pick your call. If I pick this call now, this man will talk from now to tomorrow. He doesn't even want to stop. We still have half an hour before the church service. So pick the call and oblige him the long talk. Okay, I'll... I don't call. I'm not going to talk to him here. I'll talk to him outside. Oh, feel free. I don't call. Feel free, girl. Please come and help me. Thank you. I'm super excited today. I am too. To walk down the aisle. Honestly. It's my day. I know, baby. <laughs> I see that again. Yeah, well, why is she even dodging her boyfriend's call? I don't know. <laughs> I told you I was. Are you serious? When? Baby, I told you I was. I was coming for my girlfriend's wedding. I will sort things out. All right. We will. Thank you. Your hair is so beautiful. Aww. I love the color combo. It's always my best. Oh really? And these are fresh flowers, right? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Scent so good. I love it too. Oh, you made a very beautiful bride, my friend. Oh, who is that? Oh my god. Okay, um, Jenny, please get the door. You ordered for something? Yes, I do. Oh. What took you so long? Sorry, my manager called me for a brief meeting. Sorry, I forgot to inform you guys. It's okay. It's okay, just close it up. Just close it up. Oh, here it comes. Yeah. So, I really need some juice right now. Alright, darling. <laughs> so, oh. you just have to do some shit. A sharp pain on my stomach. Yeah, tummy? I, I, I think it's a drink or something. <sighs> because I haven't been feeling fine since I, I drank that drink. So what are you going to do about it? So sorry. Oh, so what are you going oh. to do about it? Uh, you know what? I will take the necessary pills in the car. Okay. okay. But first of all, I need to use the toilet. Okay, upstairs. Oh, yeah, be fast. Okay. Please. So please tell Nora and the driver that I will, I will be back in the jiffy. Okay, that's okay, fine. Please. I'll do that. Please, please. Uh -huh. I'll do that. Okay. Easy. Just easy. Oh, they're so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. I'm just going to shopping. Just walk slowly. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. 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 oh my God, what is this now? There's no time. I'm sorry. Nora. <laughs> it's going to be a night marriage on your wedding day, Diana. Yeah, hello. Hello. It worked. Yes. She just rushed back to the room to make it to the toilet. Exactly. Okay. All right. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Come on. 
Cream, you will complete it amongst your forefathers in the yonder. I, I, I wouldn't scream. I wouldn't scream. What do you want? Better. Now let's get down to business. Business? I, I don't understand. I don't know you. I know you. But that doesn't matter anymore. Uh, please, what do you want? What do you want? I want you. You... I want to have you right here, right now. So don't bother about your gown. Take your pants off and bend over. No, 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 please. You want to rape me? Today is my wedding day. Ariana, if I have to remove your pants myself, what would penetrate to would be the nozzle of my gun to release bullets and not my penis to release sperm. Please, please, no, don't no. do this. It's my wedding day. Please, please. Ah! What are you guys doing out here? Where's Ariana? She went to ease herself upstairs in her room. Yeah, she had a uh, stomach upset. Stomach upset? But I got a strange call from someone asking me to rush down to the hotel. That I need to resolve an issue. Otherwise, my wedding will be ruined. What are you all telling me, Nora? Actually, I, I was trying to call her before you came. Let me just call her quickly. Oh my goodness. Okay, you're here already. Okay, don't bother coming inside. I'll meet you outside, okay? Um, Nora, please, I have to meet up with the cow guy. Taking me to the house so I can dress up properly for this wedding, okay? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Baby, baby, that's not what you think. Baby, that's, that's not what you think, honey. I can explain. Uh, on, yes. on, our, on our wedding day? No, 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 no. Huh? Um, um, don't, don't, sir, sir, please. I am so, so, so sorry. It's all her fault. Like, she, she, she's my girlfriend from way back in school. She told me today it's her wedding day that I should come have fun with her in the hotel room. She gave me the number. She gave me the, the hotel name. That's why I came. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't. Stop! 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 Baby, that's not true. No, no, no. That's, that's not true. He's lying, baby. Baby, please. Baby, please. No! No! <laughs> Who are you? Who? Who? Who are you? Jack. My name is Jack. 
And that is all the deal that brought me here, permitted me to tell you. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. This is a blackmail. This is a freaking set up. By who? Who sent you? If I were you, Ariana, I will go after him, try to solve this situation. You are in the wrong place, wasting your time talking to the wrong guy. Damn you! Damn you! I curse you! I curse whoever that sent you to do this to me! Both of you are cursed! <laughs> On the phone. No, 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 no. The devil just happened. <laughs> Where are you going to with pants in your hand? We're waiting. At our usual spot. Okay. I don't know why you insist on keeping me here till you get your balance. Is it a sort of hostage or something? You see, I am Kapondi. We go way back in university days, all right? And we have trust issues. I know him too well. So it's only evident that I keep you until I get my balance. See, I don't know why you're living on the basis of the fear that he's not gonna balance you after the job. He's a very rich guy. He's even depending on this money, he has money. <laughs> please just let me go, please. Oh yeah, I know that. He has money. He's a very rich guy. Of course. Now you see, if you want me to trust him, are you ready to give me the balance right now? And I'll let you go. The answer is no. So he doesn't trust us. That's why he gave us installment. He paid us the first installment and he's bringing the rest before I set you free. So there's no cause for an alarm. When he brings the money, I'll let you go. Alright? I don't like- SHUT that. UP! I'm done debating with you. I'm impressed. You brought my balance. Oh, sure. In the bag. Complete. I see. Complete. Uh, right, confirm. right here. First thing first. I would like to see Jenny. That's Jenny. Uh, uh, I don't get my ball right now.
pull yourself together, Jenny. You're safe now, okay? Please stop telling me to put myself together. Tell me, why did you have to kill them? To keep our secret secret. You know what I mean? It's no longer a secret with those hardened criminals alive. The blackmail is very, very obvious. Yes. If not, tell me. Why did they decide to hold you hostage until I give them the balance of their money? Have you thought about that? You were right. You were very, very right. They can't be trusted. At all. But then, that was too many violent deaths on a close range that I've seen today. Too much for my nerves. Damn! I understand. Oh my God. <laughs> I understand. You know, it's like that sometimes. Yes. When there's tussle, a few hairs must rule. That's life for you. <sighs> By the way, yeah. That was crazy. Have this. Oh. Call Thank yourself, you. okay? Thank you so much. As if you knew I trust me. Oh my god. <laughs> I know you're gonna need it. Oh god. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mm. You're welcome. Um, and um, I hope you know I didn't do this, Ariana, just because of the money. Of course, I remember my promise of getting married to you. <sighs> but you what? Let's take this one at a time. You know, I'm still faking it. Faking the morning. I'm acting like I'm, I, I'm crying or mourning her and all that. Let's do it for, so, for a while, okay? Mm. But I promise you what? I'm going to get married to you. Come what me. Really? I love you, baby. I love you so. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, baby. <sighs> no one is taking away from me. No, that's why I love you. I, I love have to you do too, everything to make it possible. <laughs> Relax. Oh my god, I don't know. Oh! My stomach. Oh! What is wrong? Relax. Oh! Relax, Jenny. Make your death an easy one. Okay? You see, I don't know why you trust me. Why can you just have trust in me like that? I mean, what, what, what makes you think I will fulfill the promises I made to you? I'm only human. I'm, I'm, I'm not immortal. I'm mortal. Me well. It's in the four quarters of it. Sorry, Jenny. I didn't plan and executed these heinous crimes I committed against Ariana on our wedding day. 
in order to clear the way for me to get married to you, as I liked to you. I told you the lie so you will agree to play the role you played in the whole thing. I did it because of someone else. I did all I did to create the space for me to marry Nora instead. Yes, it's Nora I want to marry. And it has absolutely nothing to do with love. I need her in my life for something far more important to me than the love of a woman. Something so important to make me have my fiancé murdered on my own wedding day, utterly ruined. Now that I have got everything perfectly wrapped up by eliminating those fools and return to my hotel and reserve suit undetected, it is time to engage my brain to come up with a watertight plan on how I will get Nora to agree to marry me. On that one, failure is not an option to me. No. Never. In fact, if I have to use supernatural powers to make it happen, I will. Where is this boy? And if you have the keys, please wash the car. Okay. I'll be going out in the chief. my word, the reason why I'm still alive. <laughs> the youngest senator to be. Mm. How you doing? I'm fine, darling. Mm. Don't trick yourself. <laughs> Where are you headed? I have a political meeting to attend. Oh, really? I'll see you when I come back. Okay, babe. Be good. Sure. And you be careful.
I did it. Stop wasting your time. That door will never open. It. Today is a day of vengeance and justice. Ariana, please, I'm sorry. Have mercy. Please, I'm, so, I'm sorry for... The weapon for your execution is already in my hand. No, 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 no. Honey, what is it? It was a dream. A nightmare. Nightmare? What kind of nightmare will make you quiver like this? It, it, it got... Repeated in my dream. What got repeated? Ariana's tragic death. Oh, baby. Baby, come. Come. It's just a dream, alright? You'll be fine. It, was... it looks so real. It looks so. so real. Why would you make this happen to me? Huh? Why? It's okay. How can I be made to to relieve the most horrible horrible day of my life in my dreams every now and then? Can't whatever that's behind it realize that Ariana's death? You see. Stay emotionally difficult for me to handle. Why? Why me? It's okay. All the time. All the Look, time. it's just a dream, baby, right? No, it looks You'll so be real. fine. No, it's a dream. Ignore it. You need to come, come to bed. Let's sleep. Come. It's just a dream. Let's sleep. Come. What is going on? Lord Daganus assured me that after the rituals he carried out at her graveside, after her ghost rose against me shortly after her death 16 years, she will never haunt me or anyone connected to me ever again, not even in my dream. How can she suddenly appear in my dream again with such burning fury? And why Nora this time around? Why hurt her too? She is totally innocent of her mother. She doesn't even know that I had a hand in Arena's death. So why did her ghost attack her too? No, this dream doesn't feel any good at all. Everything about it points to an unacceptable reality. Which is that somehow, her ghost may have broken free or is about to break loose from the spiritual cage it was locked into and come after me and my family. I can't let that happen. Never. Lord Daganos was right. He said, 
once I'm done with the rituals. My family and I will be free from Ariana's angry ghost forever. My suspicion was right. The dream I had was a pre-warning that she's about to come after my family and I with murderous intentions. That would not happen again. We are free. Thank you, Lord Daganus. Thank you. last. I'm so glad to be finally back to my sweet home. To the loving company of my dear parents. I'm so very happy. Brenda? Oh, Uncle Donald. Oh my God, where are my manners? Thank you so much for picking me back from school. You don't have a problem. You know, as your uncle, I would do anything for you as my baby niece. And I must say congratulations for successfully uh, completing your secondary education. That was brilliant. Thank you so much, uncle. You're Thank welcome. You. You're welcome. Brenda. Oh. You're welcome. Anief Young, how are you doing? I'm fine. Anief Young, how are you? I'm fine, Uncle Donald. You're welcome. Well, and if you, you know, get the luggage from the boat. Okay. Take, take the key. Okay. And be careful. Ah. And if you, yes. Mom's personal car is packed here. That means she's inside. Yes. And she has not come to welcome me. Uh, she died inside with a visitor. Even at that, she already... Brenda, it's okay. You know, why, why not stop the complaining, go inside and see her yourself, okay? You're right, uncle. Again, I seem to have forgotten my manners. <laughs> it's okay. And you know what? Uncle will not follow you in there, okay? I have this meter into cash up with. Maybe I will see you later, okay? Okay? Okay. Okay, Uncle. Thank you so much. You're welcome once again. Congratulations. My regards to your wife. No problem. No problem. Ah, I need your help. Please help me with the Okay.
Jesus Christ. Oh! Jesus! Blood of Jesus! Honorable Nora! What am I doing in your bed? No, tell me. What did you do to me? What did you do to me? What am I doing in your bed? What is this? Jesus, Holy Ghost, fire! The blood of Jesus! The blood of Jesus! Brenda, look, I, I came to, you know. You came to do what? You came to apologize. Or to explain the disgusting thing I saw you doing with your fellow lady. You own matrimonial bed, mom. How could you? How could you and Madame Helen? For God's sake, mom. You are a human leader, a politician. And it rumble real to millions of souls, Mom. How could you? Look. Brenda, I... I don't know how to explain this to you. Honestly, I'm ashamed of myself. I... I was introduced into this... into this thing by my school mother during my secondary school days. And ever since then, I've been trying to come out of it, but I haven't been able to. I just couldn't. God, how could I do this to my, to my beautiful daughter, Saike? Mom, don't patronize me. Just stop talking. You have murdered my soul, Mom. How dare you come to me to blame someone else for... Look, Brenda, I am not trying to patronize you. You know, I'm not trying to put the blame on someone else. I... You are, Mom. You are. I'm ashamed of you. Just pray that we ever see you as my mother because you are evil, Mom. How could you do this, Mom? I am ashamed. Just get out from here. Get out. Get out of my room. <sighs> Tell me the truth, Mom. Is my dad aware that you are a... Le, le? Oh, God. I can't even say it out. Brenda. Please. I'm begging you in the name of God. Your father is not aware of this. Please don't let him know because if he knows, I'll, I'll lose him. May my soul suffer internal damnation. In hell, if I fail to tell my daddy about it. Oh my God. May God in heaven. Oh God. Mom, you are a disgrace to womanhood. To motherhood and to God who created you, Mom. Just pray that I will ever forgive you. Because you disgust me, Mom. Brenda, please, 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 if you... I... Get out! Get out from my room, Mom! Get out!
Where is Brenda you went to call for dinner? Oh, well, I, <clears throat> I asked her to join us, but she said she wouldn't, so I want to dish her food so I can take it to her. What did you just say? Did I hear you right? You want to dish your food and take it upstairs to her room? Honey, Brenda is 16 years old. I'm not 16 months. She's here in the house and she refused to come downstairs to join you in preparing this meal? What did I hear you say? You, you want to dish her food to take it upstairs to her? How? I don't understand. What's happening? I mean, is she glued to that room? Tell me what's happening. Well, I... I can't seem to wrap my head around it. She doesn't seem to be in a good mood and... she has refused to disclose what the problem is to me. But it's nothing to worry about. Girls her age usually have mood swings. Let's give her some space. She'll come out of it. Okay? Brenda is my only child. I know her at the back of my hand. Anything that makes her lock herself up in that room cannot be explained away by male mood swing. It must be serious. And I need to find out right now. No, honey, you... This girl. Oh. How is my princess doing? Good, I suppose. Sweetheart, remember, before you left for school, after your midterm break, you and daddy made preparations for today right in this room. And I remember, you made a list of all the things you want me to buy for you. And the beautiful places you want me to take you to. Guess what? Daddy has bought every single item on that list. Maybe this will make you happier. That is also very ready to take you to all those beautiful places you want to visit first thing tomorrow morning. Me too, sweetheart. Oh, baby, okay? Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Mommy is willing too. Hmm? Okay. Now talk to me. Talk to us. Why is your mood this sore? Hmm? I, I noticed you only greeted me when I came back earlier this evening. And since then, you've locked yourself in this room. Hmm? You didn't even bother to help mommy prepare the meal. And now, you have refused to join us on the dining. Princess. We have never ate separately in this house before. Why start it to do for days? Hmm? Listen to daddy. Who angered you? Tell me. Who, who, who made you angry? Tell me and... <laughs> we will we'll deal with that person right away. 
talk to me. Daddy. Yes. I. I will. Go ahead. Talk to Daddy. Talk to us. You're about saying something. Go ahead. Talk to me. Hmm? Okay, Daddy. Yes. I was angry that she sent Uncle Donald to pick me up from school on my final day without giving me a head up. Oh, my bad. Can you imagine? How could I? Don't worry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Everything will be fine, okay? It, it wasn't intentional. And Daddy was so occupied, so busy in court. And mommy was quite busy too, attending meetings that has to do with the next coming election. I'm oh, sorry, okay? Honey. Yes, darling. Please don't do it again. I won't. My love, we won't do it again. That's okay? I promise. Sweetheart, we won't do it again. You see, your happiness means a lot to us. Yeah. Daddy, mm -hmm. sorry. You know, Daddy loves you so much, okay? I was actually thinking it was the best thing to do. Where is the money? What money? We don't keep cash at home. There's no money. Don't let me repeat myself. Because if I do, that will be with a bullet in your skull. Go. No, no, no. He's saying the truth. We, we only do electronic transaction in this house, but we don't keep cash. Okay. Please. Okay, we'll come here complain now. We look like children will come play with you now. Guy. Stay with this woman. In the next 15 minutes, if the jewelry and the 80 million naira this man chicari come back this house, no come day your hand. But hope, put me call. I will make you video in two seconds. I, I swear, know. I swear. Hey, chill. Shh. Easy pressure. No, no, pass yourself. Nah. Please, please, please. If no words, please. Just get to work. This is the time to start proving that you love your husband, okay? I don't know. There's no money in this house. I don't, I don't know where to. There's no money. I'm saying the truth. Jewelry. Jewelry. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where he keeps his jewelry. I don't know. I'm saying. Yeah. I don't know. Please, please, please. Yeah. Please don't let him hurt my husband. Please. Get down. This is the time for you to start proving that you truly love your husband. Now, the money. There's no money. Shh. 80 million naira. Don't joke with me. Huh? Where is it? There's no money in the house. Yeah? There's no money. I'm telling you the truth. I swear to God, there's no money. No, yeah. no, no, no. Huh? Such. Now. I don't know where he keeps his things. I don't know. I'm, I'm telling you the truth.
He's already paying her. No, 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 please, uh, please. You don't want your own share? No, look, look, I don't mind you doing it to me, but that girl is a virgin. She's just 16 years old. Don't do this. Stay at this hour, please. Please, I beg you. Please beg your colleague. Please, no. Please, you're hurting me. Please, leave me. Please, you're hurting me. You're hurting me, please. Oh, please, please, thank you. Do it, please, please. No! Oh God, she's screaming! No, stop, stop, hey. stop, stop! Hey! Shh. Tonight, everybody has his or her own role to play. Huh? Only look up things your daughter is already playing her. So, get to work, play us. Now, the money! Please, do this! Please, do this! This is my only chance! Please, tell your colleague to stop! The man is just tell your colleague to stop, please, please. I beg you, the name of God, please. No! No, 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 don't do this to me, don't do this to me. Such a woman! It's just a child, I beg you, I beg you. Please let me beg your colleague, please, please, please. Please, please, oh. He's the only one of God. Please do it to me, do it to me. Do it to me, sleep with me. Sleep with me, leave her alone. Spare her this horror. She doesn't deserve it. Please call your colleague to leave my daughter. Tell him to come and sleep with me. Tell him to come. I'll sleep with him. Where is the money, woman? God, please leave, please. There's no money. My child, my Guy, <laughs> what are you? What are you? What just need to call from boss. We're in the wrong house. Wrong house? Let's go. We're in the wrong house. Let's go. Damn it. Come, let's go. Let's go. Forsaken me. Is there still God? Hi. Hey. Let me put yourself together, okay? Listen to me. You were once announced before you dabbled into politics. 
Let the nurse and you come to play. Please attend to her, okay? Please. Hurry up. Get me warm water. A bowl with warm water and napkin, right please. Right away, right away. Um, where is she, please? She's in our room upstairs. Let me take you there. Okay. All right. Oh, baby. Don't worry. You'll stay back, okay? Let me take him there. What do you mean I should stay back? I'm a professional nurse. I can assist him. Let's go together. Yes, I know you're a professional nurse, but I want you to stay back, please. Stay back. I'll take him there. Dick, I don't understand what you're saying. I am my mother. She's my daughter. Let me go and assist him. Uh, ma madam. I'm experienced madam, in this. Madam, please. There's no time for this back and forth. I can handle her alone. Please, let's go. This okay. is a rape victim we're talking about here. I don't understand what DK is doing. DK, let me go. DK, 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 stop it. DK, don't do this, DK. I told you I don't want to see your evil faces. Just go away, mommy and dad. Oh, calm down, please. It's not your parents. Who are you? I am a police doctor. A detective, precisely. You see, I'm here with my men, but they are outside. So that I can attend to your medical needs first. Brenda, we are here to give you justice. Please open the door. Doctor, yes. I mean, officer, you need to listen to me. There is something very confidential I need to tell you. And you need to act on it if you really want to give me justice. I know the person who rapes me. Really? Interesting. Very interesting. Don't worry, I will hear it all. Right? And I swear to you, Whoever did this to you must pay dearly for it. Alright? But first, I need to give you an injection so that I can be able to collect and preserve some evidence. Will you allow me? Yes, you can do you can do whatever you can. All I want is for the devil that raped me to be severely punished. So you can you can do anything, please. It's fine, it's fine. I'll just do it. Just sit on the bed.
Let's go. No, you have to show that, please. Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Yeah, just Speak relax. It to me. It's fine, you'll be fine, don't worry. So we can get the things we need to get. We need justice, right? Good. Don't worry, don't worry. Ow! You see, I told you. It won't hurt. You'll be fine, alright? I'm through with her. Ah, very good. Very good. Are you sure? I mean, are you sure you did everything as discussed? Yes, sir. She's now in coma. And will remain so for at least the next three days. Yes. And as you instructed to, I swapped her vagina in and out with a substance that will ensure that even if the best forensic expert comes now, and checks her, he won't find anything to connect with the rape. Very good. Very, very good, doctor. So tell me, what about other parts of her body? I mean, the bed and the entire room. I completely wiped everywhere clean of anything that could implicate you or expose you as the rapist. Perfect, doctor. I've always known that I can always count on you. Thank you. Anytime. <laughs> Let's go downstairs. A bottle of champagne for you before you leave. Huh? He's done and gone. He's done so quickly? Yes. A rape victim? So sudden? Oh my goodness. Nora! Nora! Oh my god. What did he do to my child? What, what did he do? What happened? It's okay. It's okay. She's fine. She is in an induced coma. Coma? How? In the doctor's uh, professional opinion, she needs to be induced so she can regain her emotional balance by the time she wakes up. Not to worry, she will regain consciousness in the next three days or so. Three days in induced coma? For a rape victim? What, what's actually going on? Baby, calm down, okay? Why are you telling me to calm down? Let me explain to you. You see, she being coma induced or not is equally better for both of us. You ask me why? Because we have time to deal with our own emotional balance. So by the time she wakes up, we will have enough strength for her to draw strength from. Okay? By the way, I'm sorry the way I treated you earlier. I'm deeply sorry. Your heart is full of 
full of evil. Watch your back. Watch your back. Watch your back. Watch your back. Of the day, but I fly in the wind. Oh, for the moonlight. You are welcome to the chamber of mystery and power. The elements are present and listening. Thank you, Lord Daganus. Thank you. As expected of me. By the Grand Masters of the Realm. Since you gifted me wealth and spiritual aura. 20 years ago, I am expected to carry on annual sacrifices. I was gifted with the power to manipulate a lady lesbian to love me and marry me. All this didn't work when the lesbian fell in love with me genuinely. Everything became useless and she became worthless to me. I had no option but to eliminate her and go for a friend who is also a lesbian who happens to be my wife presently. Lord Daganus, today I am here again to make the annual sacrifice. This time, the woman I am presenting is my wife's campaign official. She goes by the name Mrs. Helen Pepple. As I speak with you, Lord Daganus, she is in my house with my wife. As always, the loyal servant of the realm, you have kept faith with the givers of extraordinary affluence you have. And well among men. They appreciate your loyalty and dedication. The Grand Masters greet you. Thank you, Lord Daganus. Thank you. Rema, 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 Ki, Rema, Bi, Rema, Di. <laughs> Helen, I am putting in so much effort so I can get to the next level. You know, I'm currently in the House of Rep, so I love to be in the Senate. So I am trying so hard, you know, to make sure I get there. What are you saying? Of course you will. Mm -hmm. You've been putting in a lot of effort and they will definitely pay off. I know, me. you know, I hold seminars in my constituency, you know, I hold conferences. I know my people, they see me, they see what I do. Of course. Daganus. What? Why? Silence! Dikir. 
This is a disaster. A disaster you must act immediately to remedy or it will consume you. The powers of the realm having been released can never return without fulfilling his mission. Act quickly or you will die before daybreak tomorrow. A very horrible death. Lord Daganus, I beg of you. I don't want to die. What do I do? Please tell me, what, what can I do? To stay alive, you must sleep with the girl that just entered that room. Before daybreak tomorrow morning. Lord Daganus, the girl in question is my biological daughter. I, I can sleep with my daughter. Choose between doing it and your life. Lord Daganus, please. Please, I am begging you. Please. Help me. Plead. Plead with the Grand Masters of the realm. I can do anything. Anything at all. If it means wiping the whole community, squeezing the blood and presenting it to the Grand Masters of the realm, I will do it. I will do anything. Anything at all. I sleep with my own daughter. Angry elements are hovering over your head right now. Demanding your blood. If you are still here in the next minute, they will devour you. Go! Go and never show your face close to anywhere to this sacred chamber again. Until you are done as instructed. Go! Go! be happening. After Brenda was born, the realm demanded that I sacrifice all the productive eggs in my wife's body to them. And I did, thereby rendering a stone dead barren, also through her lesbian activities over the years. I have helped the realm to initiate many Christian young ladies and wives in the spiritual lesbian league, with which they have been polluting and detribalizing the church across the world. Why are they frustrating me like this now? How? How can they be making this most bizarre demand of me? Because of something that neither me nor my precious daughter deliberately planned and did. Why? How in the name of common sense am I expected to do something that will completely ruin my only child? A version of that. No, no, I can't do it. I can't. There has to be a way out. I drove to this place from the shrine of a powerful Dibia. And he too repeated everything Lord Daganus told me in the sacred chamber. In fact, he angrily drove me out of this place. One of angry spiritual elements that were hovering over my head. Spoiling for my blood. He was emphatic. That I should never attempt going to another place in search of alternative solution. What do I do now? Go home and wait for my destruction? God, I don't want to die. I don't want to die young.
And now one looks at this. I've already done worse things before now. So many worse things. It is time to set away morals and emotions and find a way to do it. Head or tail. I just can't die like that. No. It is absolutely unacceptable to me. I can't. Say no, no. He assured me that you and your guys are professional armed robbers. Your contact was right. I took my time to organize my gang. All the gang members were rigorously screened and personally selected by me. The result is that since the gang was formed eight years ago, our operational success rate has been 100%. Perfect. Exactly what I want to hear. Good. I'll need your service tonight in an unconventional case. So what makes it an unconventional case? I want you guys to pose as some robbers and invade a certain house for a fee. Wait. You want us to invade the house, posing as armed robbers for a fee? Yes, you heard me right. Just pose as armed robbers, invade the house, and give a plausible reason for leaving the house without hurting anyone or taking anything from the home. That's the reason I'll pay for your services. Deal? So whose house are we talking about here? Are you going to do the job first or not? I mean, deal? Deal. Now, I must warn you, if this is a setup, just be sure to write your will and that of your entire family. Because no one toys with my gang and leave to tell the story. The man standing before you needs your operation to succeed more than you can ever imagine. Anyway, thanks for accepting my offer. Now, your price. The details first. Whose house are we invading? And why do you want us to pretend to be robbing? and not rob at the end. The house in question belongs to me. The very home in which I live with my wife and our only daughter. The reason I want you to go into the house is because How could an operation so meticulously planned fall apart so scandalously like this? A teenage girl I could easily have physically manhandled and saved myself this frustrating dilemma I am facing now and allowed emotions to get the better of me. Look at the mess that emotional foolishness has led me into. In trying to avoid hurting the daughter I love more than I already did by raping her. I ended up utterly devastating her. 
I ended up endangering the peace and harmony of my family and a clean public image that I put everything to build over the years. The Grand Master saw everything that happened last night. If you are here to seek solution to the problem you caused last night, then you are in the wrong place. Lord Daganus, my daughter saw me. She, she saw my face. She's aware I'm the one that raped her. I, I, the, the instruction was that you should sleep with your daughter. Not to rape her. Raping her was your personal decision. The consequences are all yours. And yours alone to handle. As a matter of fact, your annual sacrifice for the year has been completed successfully. If my daughter wakes up and tells people about what happened last night, Everything about me will be destroyed. My career, my life, everything. Please help me, please. Please, do something. I have been banned by the realm from ever getting involved beyond this point, Diki. Lord Daganus, if the Grand Masters are going to watch me being disgraced by my daughter, then what is the excess of everything they gave to me? What is the excess if they are going to stand aside and watch my daughter utterly disgrace me by exposing me to the world? Do whatever you must do to make sure that, apart from your daughter, your wife and other gang you use, no other ear hears about it. Else, you will run mad and remain incurable for the rest of your life. So says the Grand Master. Skipo, yeah? thought you said we are coming here to receive our balance from Honorable Dike. Yeah. So what's happening? I'm surprised. He's supposed to be here before us because he spoke to me 15 minutes ago and said we should be here to collect the balance. I wonder what's keeping him. See, Skifu, it not be that that man is trying to play smart move on us. He would dare not. That would be a suicide mission for him. I made that very clear to him yesterday, so don't be scared. Huh? He raped his own daughter, remember? He's such a man, not the devil himself. Relax. If he is the devil, we are worse devils. Let's look for somewhere to sit and uh, wait for him, okay? I am the devil. I don't trust lust like you will not spill out what I did to someone else out there. Now or later. That alone made you expendables. No apologies. Why were you insisting on the phone that we meet here instead of my office? I'll explain that to you later, Doctor. Did you come with the stuff? Um, yes, and that's a curious one. What do you need a little injection for? Like I said, Doctor, I will explain that to you later. Can I have it? Sure, sure. Um, Your Honor, it's a powerful one. You see, three millimeters of this can 
kill an adult in, in seconds. Very well, Doctor. Yes. Very well. Let me give you your balance. It's fine. with Brenda? Nobody. I came downstairs to get something from the kitchen when I heard you driving. How was the meeting you said you were going to the courts to handle? Fine, fine. We we're done. Everything went fine. Oh, sweetheart, please dry those tears, okay? Please. Stop crying. Time. Time will heal our hearts as of what happened, as it does to any other thing in life. Even Brenda, she will heal over time. Okay? I promise you we'll smile together as family again. Please. Thank you. On my way back, I, I bought your favorite food. Roasted plantain and fish. You need to eat. Um, why don't you go inside, put in the plate so we eat together. While you're on that, I'll go see Brenda briefly. Alright? Okay. There you go. If you make me push this knife into your body, it will cut your right kidney into two. Your hands up! It's okay. It's, a, it's okay. Brenda! Brenda. How? Shut up. I know how irritated and disgusted you feel about him right now. But don't worry. I'll handle him. Search him. Everywhere. Brave up, 
searching is that all? Search! Oh, no. I know your father, he must have some tools that he will want to use to harm us. What is that? Go on. It's not for you. Take it. If you move, I'll kill you. Brother, come behind me. You're making a mistake. Shut up! Hands up! Properly! Now, turn slowly towards the door. I'll kill you if you mess with me. Surprised that she got out of coma. Edward. Yeah, you came back so soon. I hope there's no problem with the laboratory tests. Uh, well, I don't know if I should call it a problem or something else, ma. I don't get it. Well, actually, I have conducted the test like you asked me to, and it is what I saw that made me to rush back to you immediately. Well, let me ask, what is your husband's pen doing in the rape victim's pant? My husband's pen? Edward, are you joking? No, not. Madam, mm -hmm. you remember you were a staff, a senior staff for that matter of the hospital where I work as a pathologist. And your family has been using that same hospital as a family hospital for many years now. And as a matter of fact, we have the DNA signature of every member of the family saved in our system. Just as you requested, I conducted this, the, the, the test on the semen extracted from the pant. I took a step further to match the DNA signature with thousands of other records available to us. And it was indicated that the sperm belongs to your husband. Yes, I can tell you this with 100% certainty. What, what really happened? I mean, who's pant? Is that? Um, Edward, thank you for the, for the information. I'll handle it from here, okay? Okay. And um, as for the blood sample on the pant, Please do not conduct it anymore. All right? It's okay. If I let me have the pants. Sure, sure. I, I came with it. Sure, sure. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'll get you your balance right away. It's okay. With that knowledge, I procured the drug that took her out of coma. When she got out, she told me everything that transpired 
between the both of you. Are you not ashamed of yourself, DK? How could you? So this was the reason for your drama last night. Only God knows what you are up to right now. Brenda, let me have the drug he took from his pocket. My goodness. DK! You procured the lethal injection to kill our only child? How dare you! Nora, I can explain. Explain what, you beast! Explain the fact that you raped your own daughter! You got me traumatized last night! As if that was not enough. You procured the lethal injection to kill your only child, DK! What did she ever do to you to merit this wickedness from you? What wrong did she do to you? DK! She didn't wrong me in any way. I love her. In fact, my world revolves around her. Liar! I'm not lying. Then why did you do it? I did it to save my life. If I hadn't done it, I would have been dead by now. As I speak, if any other person, aside the three of us, hears about it, I'll run out for the rest of my life. Brenda, I'm sorry. You are sorry, Dad. After all the devilish crimes you have committed, is that all you could say? What did I do that you could conceive of such evil against me, Dad? What did I do? You did nothing, daughter. Like I said, I did it to save my life. What bullshit are you talking about running mad and dying? Are you into some kind of rituals, DK? I'm sorry, I can't say more than I've said already. If I do, I will fall down instantly and die. Please just accept my apology. I am sorry. Oh my God, Mom. What has that turned into? I'm as shocked and confused as you are. But one thing I know for sure is he doesn't belong here anymore. He belongs to the police cell and I'm calling them right now. You will make no such call. Who would stop me? Me! You? Yes, I will. You won't dare. Oh, really? You think I don't know? You think I don't know what you did with Madame Ellen in this house yesterday? <laughs> Are you surprised? No, go ahead and make the call. I know about everything. Every woman you have slept with in this house, I know about them. Yes. I have secret cameras in this house. I have recorded all your lesbian activities. Yes. The disc in Brenda's hand contains all the recordings of your lesbian activities in this house. Go ahead and make the call. Let's see how it goes. Even if you kill me now, it's too late. Because this is not the only copy. There is someone out there who have copies of this disc. Who will not hesitate to make it public if he doesn't hear from me in the next 20 minutes. So I dare you to make the call. Mom, do it. Mom, call the police as we planned, Mom. Don't listen to what he's saying. Call the police. Do it, Mom. You heard her. Mom, do it. Do it. Call the police, Mom. Call the police. Go ahead and do Listen it. Listen to him. What are you waiting for? Break the house. Stop there.
She has regained consciousness. Sit down. What? What, what are you doing? Why am I tied up like this? Shut up. You should be thanking your mom for being alive in this room. She agreed to take a blood oath never to expose me. Thereafter, both of us swore never to let you leave this room alive. Except you also agree to take a blood oath never to expose us. Deal. Over my dead body. No deal. And God will punish you too. Brenda, for God's sake, we are your parents. Listen to us for once. You're my parents. And my father raped me. And you agreed with him to commit the sin of blood oath taking to hide this outrageous crime. And yet you tied me up like, like a common dog. <clears throat> Enough of this, Willie, okay? If you listen to me, in this situation, Except we are guaranteed of your silence. Even a rabies infested local thug is of more value to us than you. We are not happy about what happened. But for our reputation's sake, we cannot risk being exposed by you. Never. We are prominent people in the society. No. You are prominent devils in the society. And God will punish you too. Brenda, stop wallowing in moral delusion. Listen to us. Obey us. Damn you, Mom. Your heart is full, full of evil. Your heart is full, full of evil. What you about? What you about? What you about? What you about? Of the day, butterfly, 